So friends, if you are using Federal Bank's Fed Mobile application and if you want to know how to download statement from this app, then this video is for you. I am going to guide you through each and every step. But before that, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. So the first thing you have to do is just simply open Fed Mobile application in your mobile phone. And it doesn't matter if you're using an Android phone or an iPhone, the process is going to be same. Once you open the application, enter your M pin and complete the login process. Now, once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen. Uh, you can partially check out your saving account number. If you want to check out balance, you can tap on this toggle and there are multiple options present on this page. Now, in order to go to statement or uh, in order to download the statement, select Fedbook option over here. Once you select Fedbook option, again on the next page, uh, you will be able to check out your balance. Uh, you have mini statement option over here, so you can check out your recent transaction. Now, in order to download statement, select view full statement option. Again, on the next page, uh, you can check out statement over here. If you want to apply filter, you have that option as well. And in order to download the statement at the top, you get an option of get statement. So select that particular option. And on the next page, uh, you will get two options. One is download and another one is email. So if you want your statement on your email address, then you can simply select email and it will be uh, the statement will be forwarded to you on your registered email ID. Now, if you want to download statement, make sure you select download option and uh, below that you get an option of duration. So if you tap on this arrow, you get multiple options. If you want statement for 30 days, 90 days, 180 days, uh, current financial year, last financial year, or if you want statement for all transaction, or if you want uh, to select a custom date or if you want to select a range, uh, date range basically. So you get start date, end date option as well. So in my case, uh, suppose let's say I'm going to download statement for last 90 days. If you want to download for any of the other option, you can select that option. And once you uh, select the duration, make sure to hit this uh, proceed option. Next, you'll get a pop up screen like this. Now, what is this? Basically, uh, it will give you an example that your statement will be locked. So what will be the password? So this is the example over here. Don't forget to read this properly. And once you get this, just simply select download option. Now, once the statement is downloaded, you can simply go to downloads option in your phone. If you have a direct option, you can just simply tap on the statement. Now you can see this file is protected. So you need to enter the password, which is uh, your date of birth. Uh, but before that, you need to enter uh, your first four uh, letters of your name, which should be in capital, followed by your DOB. Now, once you enter the password, the statement uh, will be here. So you can check out the statement like this. At the top, you can check out some account details as well. So yeah, this is how simple it is to download statement using Fed Mobile application. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.